Here we have Box Elder, Acer Nagundo. Uh, it is, uh, even though it's Box Elder, it is a maple in the maple family. Um, so like other maples, it has opposite branching pattern. Um, and like maples, it is blooming early in the spring. So right now is April. I just got done with the tree planting. That's why I'm covered in mud uh, and, and probably all sorts of nasty stuff. Uh, but so it is blooming in mid-April. Um, it has interesting flowers that are a little bit different than our other maple flowers that are kind of in clusters. These have these, these drooping forms. Um, you will see the leaves are starting to break. Um, they are in, they have leaves of three. This is the only uh, compound leaf of the maples that we have here in the east. Um, has three leaflets, sometimes it'll have five. Uh, so it kind of actually looks like a poison ivy leaf with a very long rachis um, and, and three leaflets that are kind of raggedy on the edge. Um, so some people kind of jokingly call this poison ivy tree. Uh, one very distinguishing trait about the box elder uh, is it, the new growth, uh, the new twigs are very green, um, which, which sets it apart from the other maples, but also the leaf scars connect. They wrap all the way around the twig, um, which is, uh, it was also atypical. Um, so pretty, pretty unique, uh, easy to stand out amongst other, and you could see the opposite branching pattern here as well. Um, so. So uh, very good for pollinators because of this early blooming flower. Fantastic riparian species. Grows very well in wet soils near streams. Grows very, very quickly. Um, and a lot of landowners don't like it because it tends to lose limbs and grow kind of gnarly like this. Uh, but that's actually fantastic for wildlife because it very uh, easily loses these big, giant, low-hanging limbs. Um, and that'll form uh, a little bit of a cavity, typically, uh, for wildlife. So you can actually look over here, it looks like this one um, had, so they can be kind of uh, top heavy, they can grow in kind of a, um, a fashion that will lend to limbs falling off, but uh, when that happens, you get some rot on the inside of the tree, um, and that will eventually form a cavity that uh, woodpeckers and chickadees and titmice and um, foxes and raccoons and possums and all sorts of fantastic uh, wildlife can use. So really, really good wildlife tree. Um, it produces seeds that are eaten up by a lot of wildlife too. Uh, you can see these leaves are coming out a little bit more. We have these compound leaves um, that have a very sort of raggedly serrated margin. Um, and it grows very well along the streams. Its bark is really interesting. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's different than most other maples. Um, it seems very wooly to me when it gets big, but these, these are very large trees. These usually don't get, uh, box elders usually, you don't see many this big. Um, but it, it kind of looks like this, but very flattened on young trees, kind of. Um, uh, long strips that are sort of cracked is, what the, is how I would describe the bark. And then the bigger it gets, it gets kind of ropey. Um, but this is box elder, Acer Nagundo, a uh, great tree for, for our stream sides um, and for our wildlife.